those headphones weren't very comfortable. Uh, actually, I don't think these are even headphones. Oh, these antennas are pain to manage. These are the Baofeng. The Baofeng GRMS 9R. Oh, come on. Just do, th do the thing. There you go. These are the GRMS 9R. They are probably one of my favorite GRMS radios. I bought both of these after I got my original GRMS 9R as one of my hiking radios. The reason being, the reason these are set apart from most Baofengs is they are waterproof. Supposedly. They claim it is. I haven't personally tested it. I've seen videos where people dunk it in water and air comes out. Uh, but the biggest thing I noticed is when they dunk it in water, air comes out the antenna port. And there's a very simple fix to that. At Harbor Freight, or most hardware stores... Zoom in. You can find little o-ring sets. I have a whole box of o-rings that I got for like three dollars. You put an o-ring in there and you get your antenna on nice and tight and now the waterproof radio is actually waterproof. Uh, one caveat to that is this this radio does come waterproof from the factory in only one setup not or in pretty much any package except for the stock package. The stock package comes with your normal generic Baofeng antenna. This is not a generic Baofeng antenna. This is my personal antenna that I use to get the absolute most range out of all of my radios. The odd thing is, is nobody ever wants to talk back to me. The stock, the stock setup with these comes with a generic Baofeng antenna. You buy any other setup, it seems to come with the Abri Tactical Whip antenna. And something unique with this radio, of course I just put this dummy load on, I took the antenna off for a reason. One unique thing about this radio that is actually kind of annoying when trying to find a good antenna for it, is it has a very... Focus. I'm doing this manually. It has a very high brim that goes around the antenna. Now that makes most antennas like the Nagoya 771G made for GRMS radios tuned for it. Um, it makes it very sturdy. But with the Nagoya tactical whip antenna, the outside is like a vinyl, it's kind of soft. And when you tighten it, it squishes against this high brim and it makes the radio waterproof. And on top of that, you get a flat rubber washer that squishes against the metal bits on the inside in here, make it even more waterproof. Now, I personally haven't tested one. Unless I can find one of these for about $10, I'll submerge it in water, but I'm not going to do that with these. I am happy with them being rainproof. I don't need them to be completely submergible. So they are waterproof, from what I can tell, because the two videos I've seen where they're getting dunked, it's just coming out of the antenna port, and there's a fix to that. So I would call these waterproof, as long as you got the right antenna on, or like with these ones, you have a rubber o-ring gasket, or these are actually nitrile, they're, if you want to get specific. These are just like any other GRMS radio. They have your, your volume knob. You change your channels with these rather than a channel knob. You have what looks like two buttons. Get back and forth. You keep wandering away from me. There you go. You always come back to me. You have what looks like two buttons, but it is one button. You have your two option buttons, which you can program in chirp. You have the option of FM radio. Better stop that before YouTube assassinates me. You have your flashlight. 
as long as you don't have one of these amazing antennas on it. Ooh, and it even flashes just like every other bow thing. And you have the option of holding. That is not set up correctly. Uh, holding each button does a different mode. And that siren was supposed to be this top button. I do not believe that most bow things have this top button. I don't think the UV5R has this top button. This top button is supposed to be the siren. But all my settings are messed up right now for some reason. Um, I, I had it set up to where one touch is a tone and a long touch is the alarm. Which it still is. Uh... Right now, I just have the alarm local. I don't have it broadcast mode uh, because I bought these radios with the intention of occasionally lending them out to other GRMS users. Uh, but that's it. That's that's or that's pretty much it. That's what's unique about these. These are the waterproof Baofeng GRMS radios. Just like all my radios, I am a wrist strap aficionado because it makes it that much more comfortable and supporting the weight of this amazing antenna. I totally forgot what I was going to say. Uh, they sound they sound great. I recently did a range test on three radios, which the ham version of these is what I tested, the UV9R Pro. Not to be confused with the UV9R, which is an entirely different radio altogether. They really should have called these the GRMS 9R Pro to, to make them more similar, but it's not. Um, the range is good on these. I think they're rated at 5 watts. I think they, they put out pretty much 5 watts, uh, but they do well enough with a good antenna. The antenna I was ch testing at the, at the time was the Nagoya NA30 something it was their 30 inch tactical whip antenna which 30 inches kind of breaks down to be about half wave on two meters which is what i was testing it did great it did better than the 5 8 wave 48.8 inch antenna until i got deep into the mountains and it no longer transmitted or received and the 48.8 inch antenna was still going strong I also like to put O-rings on all my Baofeng radios. Focus. Because the volume knobs are notoriously very loose. Anything bumping them can change them. All you have to do is buy that box of O-rings and you can put them wherever you want. On your volume knob, underneath your antenna. Uh, you probably don't want to put them in the battery bay. Don't remember how these batteries come up. Problem with Baofengs is every single radio uses a different battery. And they all have different methods of latching those batteries. This battery has a nice chunky O-ring because it's supposedly waterproof. And it is USB 2.0 charging capability. This one actually has a really neat LED. It put a little surround wrap around the port. So the whole port lights up either red or green, so you know if it's charging or if it's good to charge. I kind of wish they would turn yellow or turn both the red and the green on to make whatever color abomination that would be when it's about 80%. That would be nice to know, but they don't do that. Uh, and again, this is USB 2.0 charging because it only charges on 5 volts, 2.4 amps, maximum if you plug it into a USB-C charger 99% 95% of USB-C chargers out there are own are smart chargers they put out 5 volt 9 volt 12 volt 15 volt 20 volt and they're supposed to ask the device how many volts do you want and the device the device is supposed to talk back uh I would like a number 12 please and it goes here you go here's a number 12 at 9 amps max capability because USB 3.0 is not not 9 amps, 3 amps capability. Because USB 3.0 is 3 amps across the board 
until you get to 20 volts and then it's free reign. Thanks for that, Apple, because all your laptops charge on USB-C, which can only put out 20 volts. So they had to come up with a special standard to where 20 volts can put out whatever the charger wants to put out in amperage. That is a brief overview of the Baofeng GRMS 9R, my favorite GRMS radio so far. I don't have any Wuxins or Oceans or Woshans. I really want one. <laughs> I just don't feel like paying for one right now. Um, and I'm sure those are better, but yeah. <laughs>